Welcome to Splash Bar Express, where every hour is happy hour, baby. Make sure to like this video and leave a comment as well. Also, you can follow on other social media platforms like Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram at Splash Bar Express. Let me know what your favorite recipe is. And if you got any drink requests, drop that in the comments too and let me know what you'd like to see. Hey, y'all, I'm back, 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 back. Back with another pineapple. Hey y'all, I'm back, 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 back with another pineapple. Okay y'all, so next y'all, we got this Panak. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the Panak Pina Colada, okay? And I'm gonna say this about the Pina Colada. Do y'all like Pina Colada or y'all don't like Pina Colada drinks? Because I'm getting mixed vibes when it comes to the pina colada. Like, some people, it's like, we got 50% that don't like pina colada. Then you got 50% that do like pina colada. This is the least sold one. What's the beef with the pina colada? Okay, but I'm not going to lie. At one point in time, I thought I did not like pina colada flavors. But then... I started making pina colada recipes, and it's not that bad. So, if you haven't even tried it and you just feel like you don't like it, it's nothing but pineapple and coconut. That's all. So, if you have not tried pina colada, don't hate. Don't knock it before you try it, okay? Don't do that. Okay. Let me get that up close and personal. So, y'all, on to business. So, this one is gluten-free non-gmo made with premium rum the other ones had french vodka it had not french vodka but like a french cognac dutch vodka some of those had that this one has rum dutch cream and vodka so i'm excited to see what color this is and i am excited to see how it tastes so let's get this opened up Y'all let me know which pineapples have y'all already tried as well. Which one of these? It's four of them. Which ones have y'all tried? So, we're going to open it up. Woo. Some of them was hard to open. Some of them was not. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So, got my glass here. Ooh. We're going to pour a little bit of that. Okay. This got... Dutch cream in it, okay? Dutch cream. So, it's looking like, I'm going to just say milk. That's all I'm going to say. It's looking like milk. Mm. Okay. I'm not, I'm not understanding the smell. It's, it's, a, it's not a strong smell at all. I don't know what I'm smelling. I think I'm smelling more of the cream. The Dutch cream. That's it. I'm smelling more of the cream. It's it's actually giving a pretty white, like a egg knox in a sense. Let's taste it. Interesting. Interesting. Now I can see why this is the least bought one. This one, you're going to go in the store and you're going to find it. It's not nasty at all. Let me just make that disclaimer. It's not nasty. It's good. But the other ones that I've tried, they are more on the fruity, exotic side. This one is more on the exotic cream side. It's giving me more of just like, I'm getting cream and rum. That's what I'm getting. I am getting Dutch cream and rum. And then on the back end, like, you know, on your back palate, I'm getting that vodka. Like, when it settles down, then you get the vodka to come in. But when you first taste it, you get in that creamy rum. It's actually kind of good, y'all. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's good. 
but it is my least favorite. But it's good. If you love pina colada and you love cream, then you gonna love this one. It's pretty good. Okay. So if you love pina colada, make sure you guys go out, try this, and see what's tea. See if you like it. And you don't. That's all I got for y'all today. Bye.